you will be very happy. It will save your sanity. It will save layers of skin. Ask me how I know. Uh, I just installed this pump for my front loading washer and this pump works on multiple brands. And I wasn't sure that my original pump was bad, but I did notice once I got that old pump off and was comparing it to the new pump, the old pump turned freely, but with a little bit of resistance, but it did not stop the way that the new pump does. You can see here that the new pump, when you turn the impeller, it snaps to the next position because of the magnetic magnetic force inside. The old one wasn't doing that and that was my biggest indication that there was something wrong with it. It was pumping but it wasn't pumping very powerfully and sometimes I would get the uh, 03 OE air uh, and other times I wouldn't. So I've got this installed here. The only thing you need to do is to take off the three screws from the housing and the old one will come off, the new one will go on. You will need to swap this white piece here from your old pump to your new pump. That doesn't come with the pump, but it's just protection for your electrical connections. To take the old pump off, there are just three screws there. To get the whole housing out, unfortunately, I wasn't able to remove this pump from underneath the machine like you see in some videos because we have the pedestal installed. I also didn't feel really comfortable tilting it up like that with that much weight uh, you know, balanced over me. So I, I feel like this was a safer way to go. Make sure that you unplug the washer before you do any of this. Once you pop the control panel, you can fold the control panel up. You can disconnect the three connections to pull it off and out of the way. I just flipped mine up. But once you have that flipped up, it'll expose a line of screws in the front that are Phillips head. They're also, you can use a hex head or a nut driver to pull those off as well. Before you unhook the front though, you'll want to disconnect the, to get at the pump from the front is not as hard as it might seem. It's a little daunting, but it's really not that bad. There is, uh, there's a set of, I think four screws in the back along the back of the top. Once you get those off, you can pop the top off of the machine. From there, there is one screw inside and a couple of screws on the out, on the front uh, by the detergent drawer that secure the front panel in place. It also clips into place, so you just need to pop those little clips. It's not that hard. I actually broke one of the clips when I did mine, so be careful, but it's not the end of the world. It goes right back together and you can't tell that that clip is, has, has lost its lip. Uh, rubber gasket to the door and that is held on by this guy. My particular machine, the spring was on the bottom. Uh, on a, other machines, the spring is close to the top. I would have preferred mine to be to the top because anytime anything leaks, this guy gets wet and mine was a little bit rusty and that ended up being a bit of a problem for me. A uh, piece of it broke off because it was so corroded and I had to uh, reform it at the end so that this would, uh, this would pop on. Do yourself a favor, spring for the tool to remove this. Getting it off is a piece of cake. Getting it back on is not a piece of cake. And I actually, uh, I actually had a mishap trying to put it back on without this. So very pleased to have this now because with this, I've popped it on and off with no problem at all. Do yourself a favor and spring for the proper tool to stretch this spring out. It will make it a snap, so to speak. You will be very happy. It will save your sanity. It will save layers of skin. Ask me how I know. Uh, and uh, you, will, you will be much better off if you go ahead and spring for the spring tool. Once you have the spring off, you can pull the lip of the gasket around to the inside. Uh, unhook all the row of screws along the top and then lean the front door forward. You'll see there is a, an electrical connection to the door sensor. Once you remove that, you squeeze it to remove it. Once you remove that, the whole door will actually lift forward and then up to pull it off. And then you've got full access to your pump and you will be very glad to have that full access rather than trying to get at it from underneath because getting up underneath the heavy washing machine didn't seem like a good plan to me. Oh, I did forget there are a couple of screws in the front under the panel where that you can get at to, to clean your filter or to uh, drain your tub. So that was it. Swapping out the pump was super easy. It's just three screws that hold it in place. You swap this little white piece, make sure everything is nice and clean in there, pop it back in and you're good to go. So this is ready for me to reinstall. I'm gonna go do that now and I will report back.
on how it is working. So there you go. It's been 24 hours. We've run several loads of laundry through the washing machine and the new pump is working perfectly. I'm relieved because I wasn't positive it was the pump, just all indications made it look like it was the pump. The slow drain and the uh, the weirdness of the impeller inside. Uh, if it wasn't the pump, I wasn't sure what I was going to be heading to next, but this pump took care of it perfectly. The machine's actually working like it did when it was new, and I had forgotten how fast it used to drain, and I didn't realize that the old pump must have been degrading for longer than I realized. I thought it was a sudden failure. I think it was actually probably more like a slow failure and uh, it finally just gave up the other day. So I'm very happy with the new pump. If anything goes wrong with it, I will report back. But right now I'm very pleased and I would highly recommend it. I hope this helps.